You cannot stand on the kid's head 24-7. Identify what kind of art and craft your child will like. This will keep the stimming away. We have created so much around the kid to sit and sort. Welcome everybody, yet another time, Rajni Singh from Sashat Empowering Lives. Uh, like I said in my previous video, the next video that I will do will be about leisure time management. As you can see, uh, I've kept stuff here to discuss this. A very brief and quick introduction. My name is Rajni, special educator, 17 years now, work experience. Also, mother to a 21-year-old successful autistic young adult who's done his graduation. Okay, so in my previous video, when I ended, I said how to effectively get one up over stimming without harming the child and how to get the child to stop stimming. Now, when I ended that video, I said, you cannot stand on the kid's head 24 seven and you should even not want to stand on the kid's head 24 seven. It doesn't work that way. Better would be to create leisure time activities for the kid so that he or she is mentally preoccupied and does not stay. Now, how to create a leisure time window full of leisure time activities? That is today's topic. All of you who are new, please subscribe, share, like in case you like and press the notification. And follow us for more on Instagram and YouTube. We do every Tuesday, we do live at 7 to 7.30 p.m. And my Autism Masterclass that happens every Saturday, uh, Friday, 7 to 9.30 p.m. All right, let's get started. So, to make a leisure time window for your child, first of all, identify what kind of art and craft your child will like. So take your child to a shop, look at stuff like tangrams, okay, these are tangrams, okay, like this, oh, I'm holding it, yeah, like this, so tangrams, and it has pieces like these, if your child is not the level of doing a tangram presently, whenever I talk about a child not being a level, I always add the powerful word yet or presently because that's not the, defi the defining factor of the child, yeah? So if your child is presently not this level, drop it. You can take look at something simpler. I'll show you a lot of stuff today. But there should be a dedicated uh, cupboard or a shelf or a place which you will call as my window and put a nice picture over there or my fun zone or whatever you want to call it, okay? And there you will place these materials. And you will then start telling the kid, mama's going to rest. You will not call me. Give a nice sheet. Okay, you can get a mat or a sheet. You know, you have to go shopping, pick up some nice Mickey Mouse character or, or something. Like you can have the, the mat on the floor or the sheet, bed sheet or something. In a corner and say my corner or my fun zone, something dedicated so that the child is sitting there non-littering all over and is busy doing um, leisure time activities. Now, one of those, like I said, can be tangram, but if your kid is not that level, forget the tangram, otherwise you can keep it. Then you can have picture story cards over there like these. You can have spellings games. So you get games in which you will fix the spellings. So if your child is a reading writing kid, he can open it and he can start fixing. These are also picture story cards. If your kid is not that level, here are some other games which you can try with the kid. This is not affiliate marketing. I am not marketing anybody. So we we'll let go of the names. But these are the different kinds of games that you can give to the child depending upon their present ability. So if they're reading, writing kid, they can read this and they can put this together. You can help them one time. So different kinds of puzzles, storytelling, or if the child is at a very basic level, 
stuff like this. So this is just a bithai box. Okay, so we covered it with white paper and we cut holes in it. And these are um, sponge and we've colored them. So all the circle, so the kid can put it up like this and just start putting things in it. All the circles in the circles place, all the squares in the squares place, all the triangles in the triangles place. So one at a time you help and then you allow the kid to do it on his or her own. Also, you can get stuff like this. These are glitters. This is toothpick and that is foam. So you will show to the kid that, okay, you have to make this, okay? This is how you will show. You will take a box, cardboard box, and keep things, a cardboard box like this, any box like this. Okay, if you don't want the kid to be distracted, put a white paper on it like we have done here. Like we have done here. Yeah, so keep cardboard box. Where we have cut it for another purpose, but you can just keep a cardboard box like this, a big cardboard box. In that, you will have sheets. You will have materials. So if you draw something like this and you keep it there and you tell the kid, this is what you have to make. Okay, this is a finished product. This is what the kid has to do. This is what will be kept in there. In small, small uh, utensils, you can get those small uh, things in the, in the you know, uh, kitchen shop, in, in the utensils shop, those small, small containers. In Hindi, we call it dibbi. Yeah, the small dibbis or the containers. Uh, tear paper and put lots of paper in there. Put these um, balls, any market, any um, birthday shop, you will get these are thermocol balls. So you keep them in small containers, you know, the dibbies. So the child opens it, there should be a small favicol bottle. And the child will fix it like this and create something like this out of this. This will keep the stimming away. Now, if you say, my child will not sit there and work, you will initially not leave the child alone completely. You will say, do this, I am coming in two minutes. And you disappear. From the kitchen, you're talking to the child and saying, you are doing a fantastic job. Excellent. So you have given that praise. So the problem of object impermanence, as in, has my mother disappeared for good? That is gone. And the child is now, again, he knows mommy is watching me and he's doing it. That will develop in seed and it will take away the stimming. Something as simple as taking, we have laminated it because we show it to people so we don't want to spoil it. But you don't have to laminate it. Simple sheet of paper, take coins, put them underneath, okay, or anything else. If not coins, anything else. Yeah, take it, put it underneath, give the child a pencil. When the child rubs the pencil on top, the structure comes up like this. Then you give the child the pencil to draw it like this. Wow, we're going to upload on Facebook. We're going to show to Nani, Dadi. Kid is happy and the kid is busy. So simple things like this. Again, keep a prototype and say, make it like this. So you help one time and then you keep these worksheets there. All of this is leisure time management. Then you can create these if your child knows, so not only is your child doing leisure time management, your child is also revising the concepts, giving you a breather. Yeah. So now this, this is cardboard and this is Velcro. So you can put these and the child and you can spread these on the sheet and tell the child, okay, put all of them back together. It's like a puzzle. So the child, so these are from A to Z, but for the purpose of showing we have just got two of those, so you get an idea. So you say, okay, so the child is fixing F and looking at everything and out of this, looking at this and this and picking up F. Okay, good, good job. And put it again in a cardboard box like I showed you. So, and then teach the child the important concept of clean up after he or she is done. For reading, writing kids, you can also have stuff like this. So you give them 
so suppose the child is doing already doing multiplication. So you give fairy stick, fairy call, you write down here and you make the circles and you leave it. So the child says three times five. So how many circles the child has to fill? You can have more number of circles and the child will just fix with fairy call these are thermal th thermocall balls, uh, balls, thermocall balls. And the child will fix it so it is making sense to the kid. Please remember while developing leisure time activities, it is very, very important to continuously praise the child off and on, off and on, off and on. So you do a disappearing act and you come back and you again move and you come back. You can't leave them alone for 20 minutes because you will see they will drop everything, lie down on the sofa and again start stealing. You don't want that. So for 21 days, if your child is avoiding stimming, you will see a marked difference in the child. He or she will forget doing this because we have created so much around the kid to sit and solve. Stuff like this. These are again thermocol balls and uh, these are dinosaur stickers. These are stars. So you're giving material to the kid that, okay, fix it like this with instructions or with another prototype. Like this, you will create laser time activities. Also, time to time, go to the shop, you know, the toys shop or the games shop. If the child likes nail art, pick up nail art kit. If the child likes those looms, pick up loom kit. It is very important to expose the child to various kinds of activities. This is slime prepared at home. So there is a DIY kit where you can prepare slime at home. So you will give it to the kid and teach the kid and the kid prepares the slime. Also, you will teach them concept of time that, okay, you have to do half an hour and then as they listen to the alarm, it goes prong, and you say time to clean up, time to clean up. And it gave you the vital time to spend with yourself while the kid was gainfully occupied without getting into stimming. If you like the content, please give us a like, subscribe, share and press the notification button so that nothing is missed. Also, join us for Instagram and YouTube and the Autism Masterclass. Until next time, here's Rajni saying, bye-bye.